Today we will see how we can make an HDR panorama. We will see how we can get the sky into the image and we will see how the XML method for the import works. You can use the HDR Pano app or Lychee app. In my app you can choose AB3 for the capture. I start the panorama always with the AM AE button so we can sharpen the image and also set all the image settings. On the right button you can see that AB3 was chosen and now the app is starting the panorama. For this shooting I use the Mavic 2 Pro with the 28mm lens. When I've landed the aircraft then I take the 5 cm shots with the north, east, south orientation grid, about 60 degree of the aircraft pitch, the yellow angle you can see on the left on the image. So we take the four cm shots at about 60 degrees pitch angle of the aircraft and the last one at 90 degree. With the yaw status bar you can always see how the aircraft is pointing the sky. Now let's see if we import a 5 cm shot panorama into Autopano Giga without any XML import. So I choose all the images, I import them and start the stitching. If you take any cm shots it will be difficult for the stitching program to put all the images on the right place. As we can see, the result that we get are two panoramas. They are not linked together. Now let's see if we use the XML import for the same panorama. So I first choose the XML file. And then I select all the images with the 5 cm shots. I will show you later in this video how you can do the same with PTGUI. This time we get a full size 360-180 degree panorama. The XML file tells the stitching program the position of the images. You can create the XML file with the XML creator for HDR Pano and Lychee. I've just added the AB option, so we can now make XML files for HDR shootings. Autopano Giga and also PTGUI supports HDR shootings. You can do AB shootings with most of the DJI aircrafts. In the latest HDR Pano app, you can also export AEB XML files. On these pictures, you can see how we import XML files in Autopano Giga. And we will see how we do that with PTGUI. So this time on a Mac platform, you can see that in PTGUI we first import. In Autopano, we have first to import the XML file. And now we import the Baby Wizard XML file. You can see on the top that it is an AB shooting. We have three times the same images with different exposures. And then PTGUI detects that it is a HDR shooting. I confirm the import method and then the app is stitching. On the Windows platform we have the advantage of NVIDIA graphic cards. Most of the apps support CUDA. Stitching will be faster with NVIDIA support. Then we can see all the 5 cm shots and the whole picture is perfect. Now I can choose the tone mapping method. We have to remember that stitching programs aren't HDR programs. I will show you the difference later. But for simple graphics we can use them for the AB method. 
I will now recenter the image and then have a look on the overlap between the images. With the XML method, we have no problems to get the sky with five sunny shots, and that gives us the opportunity to have full 360, 180 degrees panoramas. Personally, I use another method. I tone map first. I use Photomatics Pro to do this. With Photomatics Pro, we can use batch processes. If we have once the right method, we can make the whole panorama with the same method in a batch process. So first I import three relevant images into the Photomatics Pro program and I will then choose the right tone mapping method. And this is the big advantage if we compare this method to the stitching programs. In Photomatics Pro I have much more methods to tone map my images and I can save my settings. I have for each drone different settings and so I am very fast to get the right exposure settings for the panoramas. Once I have the right settings I go to the batch process method. We choose the directory where we have all the images. We choose the method how to tone map the images. You can see it on the top on the right. It's for the Mavic 2 Pro accentuated 2 method. And we can add other corrections for the tone mapping for all. The tone mapping will take some minutes. It's the right time to drink a coffee. Once the images are tone mapped, I import them in the stitching program and I create my panorama. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, until the next time and thank you for watching.